people just like in the Disney movies. Now, let's imagine, under the warm and glittering sun, you're lying on the ground of your back garden. You just finished listening to the song composed by the Lord pressing on the branches. You said to her, that's a very nice song. I love it. Then you stand up. Say hi to your neighbor's cat. Discuss the best way to soar nuts in the winter with the squirrels, and chat about traveling around the world with the swallows. What if animals could talk? I was so excited to even imagine this, but not anymore. My dream was broken. Not because I became more knowledgeable about science, I know that they don't talk and they can't talk but because I became more knowledgeable about us, humans. Today is a little special day for us, and some of you might also be a little excited for tonight, I assume. However, it is a bad day for 86,400 animals because they are suffering from human abuse. This means in every second of your life, one animal is being mistreated. This is why my dream was broken. Not because I was said that present technology does not allow humans to communicate with animals, but because I am afraid. I am afraid that I will hear the desperate moans, that I am afraid that I will understand their angry roles and I am afraid that I will face the disappointed now. I remember in year 7, my humanities teacher showed us some pictures. I looked at these pictures and thought to myself, oh, it looks like these animals are suffering from some kind of natural disaster. Nature is so powerful but so cruel. But is it really the case? Well, half right, half wrong. Just like shown in the picture, shown on the screen, violent forest fires, melting icebergs, sinking oceans, these problems are exaggerating every single day because of a disaster. Not a natural disaster, a human caused disaster. Climate change. The impact of climate change, in fact, is much, much more severe on animals than on us. But exactly how does this disaster affect animals? Well, the most obvious and commonly known way is the destruction of their habitat. So, as shown on the screen. And what happened exactly to these animals if their habitat is destroyed? No food, no water, or force to change to an unfamiliar or even dangerous environment is the result. And all they can do is to wait for death. The problem of the environment is very challenging and hard to deal with and requires time consuming work for everyone in the world. So let's keep this in mind and move on to the next part for now. I'm going to talk about something more terrible. So I'm going to show you some pictures again. Please take a look. Please take a close look. I'm sorry if the pictures make you feel uncomfortable. But please just keep on listening for one minute. Because after that, you will feel sorry sincerely for the crudeness, selfishness, and the arrogance of ourselves. According to research, there are approximately 100 million animals killed per year for fashion. We turn a cute animal from this to this to get this. Animals running freely in the wild are being killed in this dreadful way just because of the greediness of humans. And in this cruel process, animals are fully conscious and they are skinned alive. So this is how people skin an animal. First, it gets a blow to the head, or we slammed against the floor. 
and in this step, a lot of their bones will be broken. This is to make sure that the animal is in extreme pain so they won't fight back. Second, at the animal's rear, the worker will cut it open and then tears the skin away from its body, stealthily conscious when the skin is slicing like off them. Finally, the skinned animals will be thrown into a skinned animal pile and meet their skin friends. And they can live for up to 10 minutes and be still fully conscious. Eventually, their beautiful fur will be made into a beautiful coat, a beautiful hat, or a beautiful mat. Please remember, every single fur item you purchase is the life of a fox, a marten, or a bear. However, this is not all. Animal performance is another example of animal abuse. Have you ever wondered why are these animals so obedient? Well, the reason is very simple. Because they are afraid of being punished. Hoax Whips, electric prods are the most commonly used punishment tools. Once the animal did something that is unpleasant, the workers wouldn't mind giving them some special care. And on the other hand, to prevent strong, dangerous animals like tigers, lions, bears from hurting people, a very common thing to do is to pull out their teeth and nails. When there is no performance, all animals are kept in a very tiny cage that they can barely turn around. So when an animal is in a circus, their life will be consist of three things only. Being punished, forced to perform silly tricks, or staying in a narrow cage. How can we feel happy when there's so much pain behind it? These things I've said might seem far away from some of us, but animal abuse is way closer to you than you thought. So the ones at the top is the Doberman dogs, and the ones at the bottom is the Corgi dog. Notice any difference between the ones at the right and the ones at the left? Their ears and tails look a bit different. They are the exact same breed, but the ones at the right is not what the dog should look like naturally. Ear cropping and tail doking are being classified as cosmetic surgeries. We are treating their body so carelessly, like treating dolls we can easily get from shopping malls. And we made these dogs endure extreme pain and disabled for the rest of your life just because we think we look nicer in this way. And now we even think the look of these disabled dogs is normal. And their original looks as unusual. Isn't it putting the cart before the horse? Why would we have such distorted aesthetic standards for dogs? I don't dare imagine talking to animals again. Because I know what I will hear would not be sweet music from the lark the way to sword nuts in the winter from squirrels, or stories of traveling around the world from swallows. And what I will hear will be their desperate moans, their angry goes, and I will face the disappointed felt. I sincerely hope that after many, many years, what happened to me will never happen to our children. I hope the dreams of talking to animals will never be broken. I hope whenever they see an animal, they will never be afraid to imagine talking, singing, and dancing with them. I hope their dreams will never be broken. Let's act when it's not too late. Ladies and gentlemen, when you walk outside from this room, please keep this in mind. All creatures in the world deserve a life free from fear. Thank you so much for listening.